What's up guys, this is Leviathan Kraken here, and so let's say that you're getting impatient because you've got some older mods that you're unable to play. Let's say that maybe you have the Field Creator Studios mod, the Bloop mod, the Extinction, or the Multiplayer Nitrox mod that you're unable to use and it's frustrating you. Well, I'm going to show you guys step by step how to downgrade your Subnautica version to the Legacy mode and how to get those older mods up and running. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing that you're going to do, you're gonna to go to Manage, then you're gonna to go to Properties, go to Betas, and it says select the beta you would like to opt into, Legacy Mode, and that will immediately start the download. And of course, I had it started already, so that way it would, wouldn't take as long. But I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward until this is done. It will automatically start updating for you. All right, so now that that is done, the first thing that I want you to do is go into your Subnautica main directory. I have a shortcut here on my desktop. And of course, if you're on Steam, that would be Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Subnautica. Uh, the first thing that you should do is go ahead and make sure BEP and X is, is removed. Go ahead and delete that. Get all that off there. That way you don't have another mod loader that, mod loader that is interfering with the Q mods that you're going to have to reinstall. So now that I got that off of there, I'm going to be going over here to Q mods. And of course it says discontinued as only for Steam Legacy Branch. How to install. We download the file. Okay, manual it says slow download. Okay, so that's on there. So here we go. That has its own Bepinex looking folder. <laughs> Not to be confused with the other Bepinex. So we're going to be moving all this into here, place. And then I think we go through the same process where you start up Subnautica once to get that installed. See, that generated the QMods folder. You saw it just kind of like pop up on its own. So now we can exit out of that. So now we have QMods. So there we go. So we can close that. Okay, so I'm going to just download one mod that I need. So let's start off. Let's start off with the extinction. See, I, I searched it up here through the search bar. De extinction. Now this says, now pay very close attention to the requirements. Anytime you download a mod, make sure you click on requirements and it'll show you everything here that you're going to need in order to run this mod. So this says here I need QMod Manager 4. So we already have that installed. I'm going to need SML Helper. So I can close that tab. Let's open this in a new tab. Okay, SML Helper. Requirements. Bepinex Subnautica Pack. Well, that's for the newer version. So let's go to Files. Okay, Old Files Legacy. You're going to ignore this one, and you're going to click on this one right here. Manual Download. Slow Download. All right. Modding Helper. And that's going to go into your QMods folder right here. Modding helper. There we go. So we have SML helper on there now. So now we're going to need something called ECC library. And there are a lot of mods that actually do require this as well. All right. So let's make sure our requirements. QMod manager 4, SML helper. We have those both installed. All right. So we're not going to be using a mod manager download. I don't use Vortex. With Subnautica, I don't really recommend it. I know some people do, but I just never have really used it for Subnautica. So, manual download. Slow download. All right. And then we're going to be going back to our QMods here. Putting that into the QMod folder. So that should be installed. Now... We're going to go to the extinction. Click on files, manual download, and we've got all of this installed. 
slow download. And then of course, if you're using Nitrox or Field Creator Studios, you're gonna be want to make sure you go through the entire list of what your mod requires to make sure that it's going to function. This is a pretty big file. <laughs> I know before I upgraded my computer, my frame rate was pretty low when I had de-extinction going. So hopefully now that I have a newer computer, this should run a lot better. Okay, so we have de-extinction on here. So let's minimize this. Let's go back into Subnautica and let's double check to make sure everything is working. Okay, let's see. We should have... Okay, there we go. Mods... QMod Manager, SML Helper. Let me turn my volume down a little bit. <laughs> um, Eels, okay, the ECC library. Now let's make sure. See, now that's an older save file. I cannot use that one. Let's just go to Creative. Okay, so do we have it functioning? Oh, okay, so it's definitely working. We've got a fish here that de extinction is exclusive to. I forgot what that thing's called. Triangle fish. Okay, so I had to actually do a little bit of Googling to figure out how to spawn in things because on the legacy mode it's a little bit different. You have to press F3, then F8, then disable console. But anyway, we're going to try to spawn. A gulper, okay, I think it should be gulper leviathan. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. So, de-extinction is without a doubt working, or I would not be able to spawn this in. So, anyway, guys, that was the step-by-step -step of how to downgrade to legacy version, how to get a mod installed up and going, and I hope this helps. Peace out, guys. Oh, he's mad. <laughs>